Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Scotch and Whiskey by Tom Elderfield. Before we do this review, very briefly, please like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it. Nearly up to 10,000. That's very exciting for a, for a niche channel like mine, I reckon. So have a look at that. And, uh, and doing that, and have a look at onlinemagic.co, that's my membership site. As many of you will know, it's been going 10 plus years. Read the Trust Pilot reviews and what other people think. Don't take my word for it, I'm incredibly proud of it. There's a whole course on the Royal Road to Card Magic. I'm now up to page 200, it's taken me years. Uh, coins, ropes, sponge balls, everything. So have a look at that, onlinemagic.co, thanks very much. Uh, and the uh, we're gonna, I'm going to Blackpool in an hour, which is exciting. So do have a listen to my Blackpool convention, pre-Blackpool post-session convention special podcast, uh, Steve Faulkner's Magic Show, and the links will be below with no quarter. It's a lot of fun, and there'll be more of that to come. Please subscribe to that and leave a review. Tom Eldfield here with Hanson Chen Productions, bringing you your new everyday carry. Now, this gimmick can be used for vanishes, appearances, transpositions, colour changes. The, the possibilities are quite literally endless and not only that the reset only takes a few seconds and on top of that it could be done in the spectator's hands and it's fully examinable so uh when this came out i'd not i'd recently got um chris rawlins hide key which i loved and a lot of people have heard me talk about that i use it i used it when i was away and really got into it and then this came out i thought oh, is it the same thing and actually looking at it, I haven't had it that long, and it isn't, and it's easy, isn't it, to go, oh, it's a key vanish and on a key ring, it's the same thing, but that's a bit like saying a coin shell to vanish a coin is the same as a flipper coin to vanish a shell, is a, a vanish a coin is the same as a sleight of hand and all that. So it is the same effect. Uh, sorry, there's a siren going off, sorry if that's uh, annoying, but I've got to crack on because I'm going to blackball in an hour. If uh, it's the same effect, but it's a different way of getting around it, even though it looks the same. And the comparison to me is just like I said, it's buying a shell for a coin or getting something like, well, Scotch and Soda, which is the original uh, trick, dynamic, I'm not dynamic coins, coin unique, which I never really used that much, but it's one of those things that people do talk about. It is incredible for a couple of reasons. You kind of see the vanish as you do with a lot of other gimmicks, but then it's examinable. Now, for some people that isn't gonna matter because, you know, for workers, we've got ways of getting around that. For some people it is, and there's, I don't think there's any right and wrong with that. This is clean, clean, clean. It's easy, it's brilliantly made, and, you know, Tom Elderfield is one of those people who is, he likes that sort of fast, snappy magic. You can just get into it, get on with it, get it done. Looks amazing, looks great on social media, which I think is totally relevant, but, and in the real world. So that's the main differences with Chris's, and I know we're not, I'm not reviewing Chris's, but I think people are gonna have those questions, so I've got to answer them. With Chris's, it's a little bit more versatile, but there's more work to be done. You've got to put a bit more work in it. You've got to get used to it, like you do any gimmicks, a little bit like a coin shell. But once it's done, you can then do the kickback routines, goes back and then comes back, and I, lo I like the feel of being able to take it off and into their hands, and it's, it, you can do different things with it. And you can with this. With this, you can do, you know, Tom's got this lovely thing where he, he does a, a uh, key through table. So you see them there really clearly, raise his hand, one's gone and one's under the table, glass table. It just looks brilliant. And this lovely kind of bang, it's, it's where he's got two there and one vanishes and one appears at his fingertips. Just, he says great for social media, but I think great for any situation. So they're the differences and I think it's important. This is beautifully made. This is gonna last you a very long time. You know, Tom does go into things you're going to have to do with any shells and things like that. You're going to have to be careful, but it is really solidly made. It looks great. Angle wise, yes, you're going to have to be careful with some things, but a lot of things not. Easy, super easy uh, for workers. I would say absolutely uh, for amateurs and people performing to their friends like I do also. I think great for that too. So you got Again, I keep going back to Chris's, but I think it's important. You've got two very different things here. So I would suggest looking at both of them in Blackpool, um, knowing that one's going to take a bit more work and knowing that one is going to be a bit more solid afterwards if people want to hand out, have a look at things and all that. So that's Scotch and Whiskey, uh, Hanson Chem Productions. So thank you so much for sending that to me. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Tom Elderfield and the, the 
the download's great, it doesn't go on for hours and hours, it's just got all, all the solid routines and Tom is, as usual, entertaining himself. I love watching Tom. Uh, he's very fun to work with and very funny. So, uh, and looking very sharp, I must say, as he usually does. So thank you for sending that to me. Have a great one at Blackpool, everybody. Do come and say hello. Come and watch my lecture at four o'clock on Saturday. Um, it'll be something a little bit different and I'm very much looking forward to it and I appreciate your support up to this point. Have a great one. Uh, have a look at onlinemagic.co. Like and subscribe if you like to. You want to subscribe to it and Steve Faulkner's Magic Show on your podcasts. See you later.